Is there a spirit in my rice field? What can I say? When I was little, I used to see my father invite the spirit into the house during the Anakoto. That left a strong impression on me. And ever since, I believe in the presence of a rice spirit in my paddy fields. I have a small paddy field, but it's not really a field, it's more some little plots on the hillside. We eat rice with every meal, rice that comes from my land. Every day my mother cooks vegetables from the garden or which are grown in the region. As for the fish and meat, we buy that at the supermarket. I work full-time at a dye works in town, and I only have time to take care of the rice fields after my working day or on my days off. The rest of the time, my father looks after the rice. My father performed the anakuto when I was little, so I grew up with it. Today, I feel it is something important for me. Rice plays a part in every day of my life, and I never waste a single grain, because for me, it's more than just a foodstuff. My father has not practiced the anakota for years now. His job as a farmer was not enough to keep the family going, and he had to get another job. He goes between these two jobs, but his job in town has taken priority over his work as a farmer. I think that's why he stopped doing the anakoto. Is there a spirit in my rice field? What can I say? When I was little, I used to see my father invite the spirit into the house during the anakoto. That left a strong impression on me. And ever since, I believe in the presence of a rice spirit in my paddy fields. The Anakoto is about the special relationship between a farmer and his kami, the spirit which lives in his rice field. The ceremony takes place in two stages, the first part in December, the second in February. In December, the farmer goes to the rice field to look for the kami and invites him to spend a month and a half in his home. The farmer treats the spirit as he would a real-life guest. He offers him a bath, a meal, and all the honors befitting his status. It is now February, and the second part of the ceremony is devoted to the kami's return to his rice field. Once the family has prepared the meal, the rest of the ceremony takes place in private between the farmer and his kami.
今日2月9日田の神様お送りの日ですいろいろのわけでゆっくり休んでくださいませ Since my father has not performed the Anakoto for years, he couldn't teach it to me properly. That is why I got in touch with this old man who has practiced it annually for many years. He knows all the stages of the ceremony by heart. Now that I know more about the subject, I'm glad I can talk about it again with my father. The kami, when it is not in its natural environment, needs the help of humans to move about. After spending more than one month in a little Shinto shrine, always located somewhere high up, the spirit is invited down to take its place alongside its host. The farmer moves the spirit around the house with the help of a fan. After receiving a bath, both kami, since there are two in this particular case, take their places on some comfortable red cushions and wait to be served the meal. In fact, I got the idea of performing the anekuto on the advice of a friend. Then the fact that I'd seen my father practice it for all those years made me want to revive this tradition in my family. Given that sake is a drink made from fermented rice, it is only natural that this is served during the meal. The kami are sensory beings, but they are blind. That is why the farmer continually describes everything that he is doing, so the kami know. He goes so far as describing every detail of the food present in the wajima nuri bowls. I feel ready to perform the anakoto now. I will do it in my own way, not exactly how I was taught it. The important thing is to perform it with conviction. At the end of the meal, the kami take their places on a sacred pine branch. Accompanied by several final offerings, they head back to the rice field, their natural home.
花の神様今日は田内祝です今年も法然豊作になりますようお願いいたします。